because some uh, wanted to see uh, where we were with the truck restoration. I thought I'd make a short video of where we are with the truck restoration. It's a 1989 Dodge that uh, Jesse picked up for me at an auction in Pahrump, Nevada. The truck was originally a BLM a Type 6 engine by the property numbers that show that it came out of uh, Boise, Idaho originally and then evidently went to somewhere in Nevada and then when the BLM was through with it uh, it uh, went to Nye County Nevada's fire department and was used in Crystal Nevada as a squad they did uh, some modifications, I know they had to do them, uh, to the pump system because the uh, inch and a half overboard would not pump anything. When they took it apart and put it back together, they put a check valve in backwards, which really surprised me. So that I couldn't get any water out the inch and a half until I uh, did something with the check valve. Uh, on the left hand side of the bumper you can see the air horn I added, I cut a hole in the bumper. and added a big, big air horn. We'll toot that for you in a little bit. I cleaned uh, the underneath real good and painted the undercarriage, at least the pumpkins and axles and uh, all of that nice bright red and there you can see also see the uh, speaker for the uh, siren PA and uh, those kinds of things. Here's a side view of the uh, truck as it sits. You notice the the wheels and the nice polished diamond plate on the sides. The uh, hose reel, you'll notice it's yellow hose. Originally it had uh, the hose that was on it when I got it. Uh, weighed about a little more than 60 pounds for the hose on the reel and it was uh, sun checked and stuff so I replaced it with the uh, booster light booster hose uh, and the same amount same length of hose uh, now weighs about 18 pounds being old and little why that makes it a lot easier for me to pull I zoomed in on the door here so uh, you can see, uh, let me get it up a little bit. Just for fun, I've labeled it uh, Rancho Mino Gato out of Coarse Gold. That's the same that we used to have on the uh, uh, old Nissan when all the kids. Nissan or Dodson, I can't remember if they changed names by then or not. When uh, all the kids were little, we had uh, the Rancho Mino Gato. Kind of hard to get a good focus on this, but uh, inside the cab there's the uh, radio and uh, lights and siren controller uh, mounted down on the hump. Uh, I tried to get a console in here, but uh, with the four-wheel drive and the stick shift and the small cab, it was just impossible to do it. So I had to mount them on gimbals off the uh, floorboard. No place else to put them. We're into the uh, side box, uh, right behind the driver's door, and in here we have uh, all the PPE, uh, hard hat, gloves, Nomex. Uh, in that uh, five gallon bucket is rope, in the red bag above that is uh, more rescue line rope, and uh, the diamond plate up in the left hand corner is the chalk block holder for the uh, left side of the truck. That's one of the chalk blocks two chalk block holders in the vehicle. Looking at the undercarriage, you can see where I painted the springs and such. Clean it up as best I could, make it look good. And then naturally we've got the nice shiny wheels all the way around the truck. All of the side boxes have been uh, carpeted on the bottom and on any shelves. We're still on the driver's side, and in this side box we have 
600 feet of inch and a half hose, uh, two hose clamps, and the chainsaw is in the compartment on this side. I'm not sure I'm going to leave all the compartments outfitted as they are. I may move some of the stuff around later on. Um, I'm still playing with what goes where. Back in this uh, back side box on the driver's side I have uh, extra pump fuel and uh, some maintenance item uh, chainsaw fuel uh, bar oil for the chainsaw extra brake fluid extra oil extra power steering fluid uh, some paper towels to clean up whatever I need to my hands or whatever else and the spray bar that uh, actually is goes on the back of the truck uh, onto one of the inch and a half outputs so I can spray the road if I wanted to off the back I can control the spray bar from in the cab it's uh, I have an electronic valve on it to allow me to turn it on and off here we are uh, at the back of the truck uh, see the pump panel the back bumper uh, this comes from originally from the BLM days I'm pretty sure the back bumper doubles as an air tank if you look on the uh, far left corner you see an air chuck there so it gives me a, a 12 gallon a 12 gallon uh, air tank in the back and it's also it's tied up tied into the uh, air compressor which we'll get to in a little bit with another five gallon uh, air tank so I've got about 17 gallons of air that uh, I can do anything with besides the air horn why I have hose and stuff in there to put air and tires and so and, and all of those kinds of things the pump the pump panel has been uh, refurbished uh, I'll do a little close-up shot of that here in a minute I've redone the uh, pump panel and all the plumbing and such uh, got overboard draft tank drain and fill uh, hand primer that's been rebuilt Here's our electric wheel rewind primer. This here is for the work lights, uh, which I added the, the uh, seam lights or work lights. Pressure gauge, hour meter, actually choke, run and override for start, and run and stop for the pump. Starter, power, uh, discharge line, throttle, uh, master power switch, and a power outlet that allows me to uh, turn on and off the spray bar uh, on the back of the truck. Uh, over here is uh, another chalk block from the other side of the hose, or other side of the truck. And the uh, pump motor's been rebuilt. Got a short piece of inch and a half in the back for uh, engine protection line. I'll fire the pump up and uh, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll start the pump and uh, see what we can get on it. Here you can see uh, the diamond plate on the mud flaps of course gotta have that shiny stuff along with the stainless steel exhaust extension gets the black smoke from the diesel engine away from the red and the shiny diamond plate on top in that lower side box there uh, is where I have uh, the jack part of the lug wrench or, and uh, 
fuse these in that uh, bottom side compartment. In this side box, in this side box, I have the uh, hand tools, uh, Pulowski shovel, and a McLeod. And uh, this one, you can see uh, the carpeting in there. The tool holder is all being carpeted. There's no metal to metal. All the tools rest in nothing but uh, carpet, and they stay in pretty good. I haven't had any trouble with them uh, moving out. And then come up to the other side of the uh, box and the handles are nestled in the uh, carpet tool holders. We'll see how that holds up. So far it's been fine. I haven't decided what I'm going to put up in the front of this box yet. Uh, I may I have to think about that for a while. I haven't got the brass on board yet other than the nozzles and stuff <clears throat> that are already there tied to hose. So I've got some brass to put in here, and I don't know if I'm going to move some hose around or leave it the way it is or what. It's uh, still in the thinking stages. In the uh, front compartment here on the top shelf, uh, we have a five-gallon air tank, the air compressor, uh, a little piece off to the side there holds a 50-feet air hose air chucks, uh, fittings so that uh, we can put air in tires if necessary, those kinds of things. Down in the bottom of the box uh, we have uh, tools, uh, toolbox, sockets, screwdrivers, pliers, miscellaneous stuff that a guy might need, and uh, jumper cables for being an old truck why uh, we have to be prepared. One of the things, uh, I replaced the diamond plate down here on the bottom and the clearance lights. The last thing that Mako did when I took it down to uh, have them do a little touch up paint. Uh, they added this chrome strip here on the back of the truck for nothing. Uh, trying to keep me happy and then they uh, had been taking pictures of it all the way along through the progress and they told me that they are going to uh, publish it in their quarterly news magazine of one of their pride projects that they have uh, done in this last quarter. I thought I'd uh, fire it up so you can hear how sweet it runs. It's cold so it's got a little bit of smoke right now, but uh, listen to that thing purr. I brought it up uh, out of Fresno yesterday, 75 miles an hour all the way up the hill. It just runs like a top. We'll make a little noise for you. <laughs> 